What's up guys, Heekin here bringing you another manga chapter review this week on One Piece chapter 1039 or 1039 if you will. So yeah, this is out. Uh, I'm going to be going through the actual chapter itself and give my thoughts on it. I've already read it, but uh, it was a pretty bloody epic chapter. It, and it's kind of crazy what the title of this is as well. I think it's called The Main Attraction, which is a bit weird because uh, last chapter was called, uh, I think, Laura or and Kid vs. Big Mom. And they were hardly in the chapter until the very end. But this chapter is mostly, pretty much, Laura and Kid fighting Big Mom. So it, it's kind of weird that that wasn't the title of this chapter instead of doing last week. It's kind of weird. But yeah, we get this big cover page between Luffy and uh, Kaido in his hybrid form. And we get the, you know, heading The War That Tears Down an Era, 10 Arc Climax. So clearly we are in the climax of this uh, arc, I believe. So, you know, a big estimation, if I had to give a big guess, I'd say we're, you know, at least, at least in terms of the fight or fights that we still have, I'd say we're good 10 maybe 10 chapters away from it ending and maybe t maybe t something like 20 chapters away from the actual arc coming to an end perhaps uh we still have cypher pool and the world government to deal with so we you know i'm curious to see how all of that is going to pan out and uh, you know how that's going to end or how all that's going to wrap that uh, subplot up but uh yeah let's go into this chapter guys uh yeah we get a nice little color spread here with uh you know the crew the the straw hats Let's see, we've got Luffy, Chopper, Jima. Jima is in there now, so yeah, he's in there now, like just making sure if he is if he is officially now part, and he is officially part of the Straw Hat crew, so he is in there, which is great. And yeah, we start the chapter off with uh, Momonosuke trying to stop uh, or Onigashima from uh, crushing down onto the flower capital. It's nearly there, you've got pieces of it breaking off. Uh, you've got all these, uh, he's created these circular winds around the island, and now Momonosuke is pulling at them, trying to... I believe pull uh, Onigashima back from the flower capital like he's really struggling here at this point uh, and then of course he says that he hears something is someone calling for me and I think that is Zushina I believe uh, the elephant Zushina is calling Momonosuke it has reached uh, I believe what one would consider the borders perhaps the big question is is it gonna be big enough to just go right through into the borders of Wano, or is it going to have to somehow travel off the waterfall, uh, waterfall perhaps? That is something I'm very curious about. Uh, I'm assuming it's big enough to get there, and since it came from behind the Marines as well, I'm assuming it's, you know, it's probably maybe wiped the floor with them. So when we cut back to it, it's probably just going to be a carnage of Marine government ships just sinking or crashed or, f or fleeing away because, you know, they can't stop a giant HMS elephant from coming in and, and you know what I mean? So... Yeah, a lot of you were predicting that uh, Zushina would probably be used to break down the wall or whatever that's surrounding Warnor maybe. So maybe we'll get something similar to that perhaps. But again, we'll have to wait and see because we cut back pretty much straight away on the first page. We cut back to the uh, fight with uh, Big Mom. Um, and yeah, she's pretty much been blown away. Uh, uh, you know, you've got the people sitting there seeing, you know, like uh, they couldn't have beaten her. Please, we're counting on you to deal with them. And you've got, you've got Kid and... Uh, Law's uh, crew pretty much, you know, cheering them on and crap. And Big Mom is, yeah, it looks like she is sort of getting defeated. And, uh, you know, you've got you got Law and Eustace sort of firing back, you know, uh, the rivalry shining through. And, you know, Law says to Kid, hey, I I Eustace, yeah, yeah, that's twice now. Uh, and he's like, you, you wait for me to use my finisher, then you swoop in with a flashy move to take credit for yourself. Uh, and it's like, I'm not your opening act. Who cares? Let it go. And it's, he's right. Kid is right. Like, who cares who the opening act is? Just finish her off. Just beat her quickly as fast as you can. And, you know, Law is arguing and Kid's arguing in terms of, you know, stop giving me orders. Like, it's funny that they're arguing, by the way. But it's also hilarious how well they've been working together to defeat Big Mama. Like, it's crazy to think that. Do you know what I mean? You, you wouldn't have thought that these guys would team up but then again it was foreshadowed because if you guys remember uh shabodi archipelago archipelago we did get kid law and luffy teaming up and uh, that was obviously and it's crazy to think as well that those characters specifically the supernova were created specifically for that arc because at that time oda hadn't even planned for them and he created them during that arc and now he's using them here like it's a nice sort of foreshadowing on build up to what we had there so many years ago to now with these three 
uh, you know, fought Big Mom and Kaido up on that roof, and now you've got Nora and Kid working together to fight Big Mom to stop her from going to the roof to to basically defeat Luffy while he's trying to successfully at this case at this point I think beating back Kaido. So yeah, it's 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 insane. Do you know what I mean? After all these years of being hyped up about the Yonko, we're getting to the point where now we're going to see one of them fall. So yeah, this chapter is pretty much all kinds of hype. But I can see some people complaining the negativity in terms of, oh, wait, these characters end up having their awakenings and pulling ass pulls on that. But uh, I feel like it's, it, it's a logical step in terms of what's happened. You know, it, it, experience helps a lot in that regard. And there's obviously been training by some of these characters off screen that we didn't see. So, you know, I, I like to believe that, yeah, these characters could pull it off. Like, again, you, you one can argue that, you know, plot calls for it. And you're, you're completely right. The plot calls for it. But it's never been a case where I felt like, oh, that's an ass pull. For me, it's a case of they've been building up to it. And they're at that point where these characters are strong enough to be able to do this. But, yeah, man, it's, like, seriously, what an amazing chapter, by the way. And we get, we get the people looking at her. And they're like, look at her bones, those shockwaves, and Big Mom responds, those shockwaves hit me from the inside out, even my ribs are broken, Tra Trafalgar's technique is dangerous. And we see her using her soul ability, whatever it is, to basically mend her arms. I'll have to exchange some life to bring you bones back. So, yes, Mama, yes, Mama. So that's insane, because uh, if you pay attention to this panel, she's basically turned her hands into homies, basically, or her bones into homies so that's very weird that's a very weird sorry about that I'm trying to do a review and then people in the background turning up the volume for the tv and their phone and that jesus christ i'm trying to enjoy my review here and distractions like <laughs> the day i get my own place is probably going to be the happiest day of my life perhaps <laughs> but yeah uh, these guys are arguing and a big mom heals her arms which is insane because like i said it looks like she turned him into homies, but this is an interesting detail here. She's exchanging her life to bring her bones back. So one has to wonder how much of a lifespan does she have left? Now, there's a lot of people around her that she can easily kill and take their life force for herself. But what happens when there's no one near around and she uses too much? She's going to end up dying, right? Uh, for all we know, she's probably at a point where she doesn't even realize that she's at a limit and she could die at any moment now right now i mean that would be a very surprising twist for for this i mean it, it, it almost be similar to what happened with kimimaru like in naruto like he was dying uh he didn't know when he was gonna die it, it was just a case of you know he's only got a few moments minutes hours maybe left and but then just as he was to kill you know just as he was about to kill the heroes he died at that precise moment so it could be a case here where big mom maybe is gonna do some big last minute attack but it isn't going to work because she dies at that very moment. Like, heart attack, old age, natural death, whatever. Uh, dead. Like, can you just imagine if that happened? That'd be... And I can see Oda doing it in the most funniest way as well. Like, and for someone like her, I could see it being very funny. Like, uh, but we'll, 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 get, we'll, get, we'll get to it when we get to it. Like, uh, because a few things happen in this chapter that are pretty mind-blowing to see. So, Law says, in all seriousness, seriousness, I need to tell you something. Uh, I'll be out of strength after this round. My next attack will be my... Uh, this this one is sort of repetitive because you keep having these characters saying, this is my last attack, this is my last attack. Well, hopefully this will be your last attack and it, it, it most likely seems to be the case because uh, what Law does here is pretty insane. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you got Big Mob going in for this big, powerful attack using Napoleon and Prometheus, you know, Master Saber, if you will, and getting Hera ready as well. And she cuts through the ball that uh, a kid made, you know, the, the mechanical ball. Cuts through it, and you know, you know, stop dreaming. I've sent hundreds like you to a watery grave, and you've got a kid jumping off the ball, going for attack. We've ruled for decades now since the time you two were still drinking your mother's milk. You know, she's going in for the burns here. And you've got Ustis going for this attack called a sign. And I have no idea what happens here. Because he goes for this attack on her. And then... I, I don't know what's happening. I think he pushes her backwards, maybe. I think he pushes her backwards into, um, into, the, into the metal part of a tower or something. I don't know what's going on here. And he tries to ram the mechanical ball right into it to basically stab her through. And Big Bob is stuck. Like, she gets pinned 
into or pushed into the wall. I think he's used his magnetism to push Big Mom into the wall and he's bringing the ball in to basically gouge her. And Big Mom at the last second uses all of her strength to basically tear this wall off, twist it around and, ha and, ha and use it as a shield to protect her back as the ball hits it. So that, that's, that's an amazing feat by itself, do you know what I mean? Like, and uh, it's just, yeah, Usta stands there facing her. And it, it looks like she's going to win. It looks like, uh, you know, that they've lost the edge here. And she uses, she uses her sword, which is basically a combination of Prometheus and Napoleon, I think, at this point. And she calls it a homing cannon. And she calls it misery. And you've got, like, I don't know what this is, but it's some sort of spirit lightning form, whatever bursts out of it, like like a cannon. And it looks like Mother Camaro, by the way. Mother Camaro, is that what we call it? Is that what she was called? Uh... Uh, what's what it's moving her attack it's alive so it goes for Eustace go and get the misery show them the place but you know as she launches that attack you've got this big chunk of tower that comes down from above her and it's law basically using his room ability to swat her down and it hits her it literally hits her on the head still not enough though it's still not enough but she goes down on her back and you know Lord jumps in with his blade he's coated it in his uh Whatever it is that he's called it that he used last time. Kid is watching this, of course, and he stabs her right through the chest. Not the, and you know, it's repetitive at this point because he's done this to her before, and she's like, not this again, Trafalgar, you know. I, I keep saying his name wrong. Trafalgar, 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 you know, like Trafalgar Square, maybe. So he stabs the sword through her, but this is where it gets intense because he stabs her through the chest. And then the thing expands, almost like Gein's uh, uh, Zompok Toe from Bleach. This thing expands all the way down to the basement where Yamato and the Frozen Bombs and, uh, you know, K Konkuru's Fire Demon are. It pierces through that, all the way down there, and it pierces through the basement, out of Onigashima, all the way down to the ground, and creates a freaking crater. Okay? That's what it does. There's literally a giant crater now. Like, like, this is Onigashima. This is the freaking blade coming up from Onigashima all the way down, and it's it's like it's almost it almost looks like it's a freaking anchor. Like it's it like it's gonna be stuck there. Like, and yeah, it's insane. But uh, uh, you know the fact that this is an obvious a uh, plot point now at this point because the fact that it's gone through the basement where Yamato is and the bombs pretty much means at this point that next chapter we're most likely gonna get Yamato throwing these bombs down the hall down into crater. You know. But realistically, I see, I see, you know, if they're lucky, I see it more like Big Mom getting pushed out, falling down through the hole, all the way down into the crater, and then Yamato ends up throwing the bombs down, at which point they, you know, they hit or fall down on Big Mom, and the fire demon, whatever it is, uh, you know, whether it disappears or not, is going to follow those bombs. It's going to crush down, and it's going to melt them, and it's going to ignite them, while Big Mom, you know, is pinned down by these bombs, and it, and it's going to explode, and it's going to... Blow, blow up safely away from the flower capital and Onigashima, but it's going to take out Big Mom. I can see that happening. I think a lot of people, even reading this chapter, would have predicted that because it, it seems like that is obviously what's been set up here. I think that's what Alda is doing, and that is insane, especially when you take account to this next part where he's like, you know, not yet, it's got to be deep. <laughs> law, man, law, respect, you know. I get what you're doing, man. You know, you, you got, yeah. Yeah, it's it's got to be the yeah. I, I think a lot of people would say you know you got to go deeper here when you're you know, you know when, when a granny's involved you know and she likes it you know rough you know you you want to go deep. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus Christ. Why do I have to be so? Why do I have to talk like that? Why? Ignore that comment, right? <laughs> or don't, or don't because literally the next thing Law shouts out he says Willie, Willie. Oh my God, what is Oda doing here? Like. You can't, you can't tell me he draws this and he doesn't think about this kind of stuff. Like, it's almost as bad and obvious as uh, when J.K. Rowling uh, created the concept of Expecto Patrona. Like, come on. Like, what am I seeing here, man? Like, so he, so he says puncture and Big Mom's very confused. Like, what? No, don't. And wh whatever it does, it seems to puncture in through her and literally hurt the crap out of her because next minute she's coughing there's blood coming out there's literally a freaking hole in her back now giant crater below her giant hole below her giant hole in the basement giant crater down below 
uh, you know, in Wano. You know, Momonosuke like even sees that crater like, and, and we get this overhead view of Yamato looking up at the hall that's just been created. And, and we get Misery, you know, and you know, Big Mom's last words are like, burn him to ash, Misery. Yes, Mama, you know, it's it's going for the attack on Law. Now, he, and, he, and, and Law shouts out for Eustace, and he's like, now Eustace, yeah, and, and what the hell is this? And we get, honestly, this is the coolest bloody thing I've seen. Eustace has, 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 has used his ability to create, a fr at least from what it looks like, it looks like a freaking railgun. Okay, it looks like a giant freaking plasma railgun cannon, whatever. It's amazing. It's freaking beautiful. And he calls this thing down, and you and yeah, Big Mom is scared. You can tell she's freaking terrified at this point because, I mean, she's got a freaking hole in her chest coming out of her back, like, and it's smoking as well. And he shoots that beam. He's like, "You think you can take me down? Give it your best shot. I'm Big Mom, and that's why I'm gonna finish you off." And boom, damn punk. And he shoots that thing, and it hits Big Mom. And it hurts her. It literally hurts her. And we res and we get. I don't know if this is law talking or Eustace, but we get the final quote here. Your error is over. Dragging the emperors off their throne. And the chapter ends with what is potentially the defeat of Big Mom. Her death? No. But t but considering where we are and what's just happened. Um, it doesn't confirm that she's been, de been defeated, by the way. And usually, when 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 someone's gotten defeated, we get like the text of you know like you know that one is there, that one's lost. But I think that's what how next chapter is gonna begin. I do strongly think Big Mom is gonna fall through that hole all the way down in that crater. Yamato's gonna throw those bombs down, Whee! and we'll get this last shot of Big Mom as she's struggling to get out, and just like holy crap, I can't believe it. Boom. Explosion. Yeah, I think I think I think Big Mom might actually die. Uh, I've been very very committed to the idea that she's gonna have like a role to play in Elf Buff, but now I'm thinking that might that's probably not gonna happen. Like more than more most likely she's gonna get taken out, and that would be insane. Like the fact that Kid and you know Law end up potentially beating and killing a Yonko is. Amazing because it's something we've been building up for years. Okay, we've been building up to these fights We've been building up to this realization of the Yonko having to be defeated And Big Bomb being the first to go out and not by Luffy's hands as well But by these other two by these other supernova this this let this new generation taking out the old generation. It's it's poetic It's poetic man like seriously. This was such an awesome freaking action chapter It's one of the things that makes me really want to sit and watch the anime because I can't imagine how brilliantly well this would be animated if it's done but like Wow, wow, and it doesn't look like we have a break next week So we're continuing on guys. We're continuing on and we're getting to the uh, we're getting to chapter 1040 next week It looks like but yeah Bloody, bloody, brilliant chapter! I loved, I loved uh, the stuff that the characters did, and yeah, I just can't, I just can't wait to see if our theories are going to be correct about what's going to happen with Big Mom. The bombs are one hundred percent going to be thrown down by Yamato down the hall, but is Big Mom going to follow? And is she going to, you know, is, are the bombs going to go down first, or is she going to go down first? Or interesting to see, interesting to see. But uh, yeah, guys, we're getting there. We're getting towards that end now of these fights. It's, it's been an amazing journey so far. Really. And that's my review for One Piece 1039. I hope you enjoyed it. Technically, it's more, it was more of a review and reaction, really. But I like how I did this. You know, I get to read it. I get to know what's, really, what's happening. And then I get to discuss it as I go through it bit by bit. But yeah, brilliant chapter. Thanks to Oda. Thank you very much. And yeah, can't wait for next week. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. As always, please do. Helps. And yeah, I'm going to go and drink something hot now because my throat is killing me. Take care, guys.